Look, so basically, you know, question, right? What can you do if you're attempting to manifest something for long periods of time, maybe months, years, you're attempting to manifest a desire or a goal, right? And it hasn't been coming true. So what's going on? Is there something you can do to, to stop or to propel or to accelerate the flow, right? That's a good question. And you know what I've been thinking? And it really boils down to the language. The language we were programmed with. You see, the key word is, you know, when you try something, because, you know, in our logical mind, we're doing the right thing. So if you, tr if you try and do something else or you, you take another approach, it becomes counterintuitive. Basically, your logical intellectual mind will kind of self-sabotage you. So where, where am I going here? Okay, I'm speaking about the word try. When you try something, you're not going to create, it's not going to work. Try just means try, try, try. So if you're trying to manifest something and you keep trying and the months and the years go by, bing, 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 you now you have a clue what's been going on. So your subconscious mind cannot understand negatives. It doesn't understand double negatives. Let me give you an example. If you say to your subconscious mind, hey, I want to stop smoking. All your subconscious mind understands is smoking. It's going to make you continue to smoke. It doesn't understand the word stop. They can't understand negative. So you have to start to approach your language, the language we use, the formats, how we create our life in a whole new paradigm or prospect. Because they never taught you this. They don't teach you that. Subconscious mind that creates our reality, okay, it is used as an illogical tool. It's very logical. That's right. It doesn't understand time. It doesn't understand negatives or double negatives. Subconscious mind only understands what you feel and a primary proponent, proponent of language. So I want you to really, really get that to kind of sink in, right? So, all right, so how can you fix it, right? How can I manifest more of what I want? Uh, you know, how can I limit the time it takes to manifest my desires? Which is a great, great, great point. So here's how you're gonna do it. Number one, you have to get a mindset different. You cannot approach the mindset of, I'll try, because your subconscious doesn't understand it, just give no try. So if you want to really create and make a change in your life to attract what you want, the first step is you have to start to build some beliefs in yourself. You have to believe it's possible at first. If you don't believe it's possible, if you can't see yourself doing it or having it, it's going to take you more years and years and months. So the trick is to really get your mind to believe something is possible. See, that's the big, big secret. If you can get your mind to believe that, then you're halfway home to create what you want. So how do I get my mind to believe something that I've never done, right? Because many of us, we manifest things we want, maybe big things, small things, it's the same. So the question is, okay, how can I get my mind to do that? Well, it really starts with a self-image perception or how you see yourself. So my recommendation is, first thing you should start to do is you have to start to put a picture in your mind, right? You gotta see an image in your mind of the thing you want being done. That's the first step is gonna build a belief. Then you have to affirm it daily. You have to start to speak out aloud to it. You have to start to say things. You can use affirmations. And what I like to use is I call subconscious suggestions where I put things in a question format, right? You start to do that, you will start to change and shift to manifest what you want. So the first major thing we have to do is kind of build a belief structure. All right, so you got the belief structure now, and I'm doing this, but I'm, not, I'm still not seeing results. What's going on? Well, if you have the belief structure, then the next component you have to consider now is your intention now. The intention is basically, you know, why you want it, or, you know, make a decision on that's what you want. See, many of us, we can have the belief but we don't have the full force 
push to go for it. We say, yeah, it's possible, but we never can actually see it to the end. That could be the next uh, issue you have. So it's very simple. All you have to do is just sit down and say, hmm, you know what? All right, this is what I really want. And why do I want it? Well, it makes me feel this way or it makes me feel that way. Okay, but let me give you a, a quick cheat code to show you how to make it even better. So think about this, right? So the thing that you want, in other, look, human beings, we do, the things we desire is for one reason. The reason why we want stuff in our life and the reason why we want everything, you know why? Is because it gives us a feeling. Think about it. The house, the career, the money, all these things give us a feeling. The feeling of what? Maybe with money, it's security. Maybe with a house, it's prestige. A career is prestige. Make you feel good. It kind of strokes our ego. So it gives us a feeling. But if we break that feeling down into one, let's say we break that feeling down into one universal feeling, what would it be? What do you think it would be? Well, happy. The things we want or the things we desire do one thing. They make us feel happy, right? So the thing you really want to get what you desire is to feel happy. So if you start to feel happy, you'll start to attract it. So with those three things in mind, you can speed up your manifestation because you're working through your subconscious mind, right? So check this out. So if you now recognize that you got to change your language, don't use languages such as try. I mean, the mindset is, my, the best mindset to have is like a robot. You're just like on a program to repeat, to repeat, to repeat until you get it. That's the best mindset to have. So let's say you have that mindset now. Okay, so you got that straight. Now you start to build some beliefs. Okay, good. We're on the track now. Now our intention is aligned so we know what we want. Okay, now you'll start to see the difference. Now the things will start coming to you. So why does it come to you that way? Well, because number one is when your conscious mind and your subconscious mind both agree on something, it opens up alignment. That the universe now can bring you what you desire. You gotta remember that whatever you want, the thing you're manifesting, it actually already exists. It's just in an invisible form, what we call a potentiality. It's there though, it's, a, it's an event, it's a real thing. But maybe you, our naked eyes, actually our naked eyes can't see that. So, But it's there nevertheless, but it's in another form. So it's gonna sound counterintuitive to your mind because your ego, right, is basically a logic and analytical part of your mind. So a counterintuitive, you have to bypass that. So now you say, okay, what I wanted to exist. Science proves that we know through quantum physics that the things that we desire, they exist in these potentials of energy form and they come in and they coagulate and they become real stuff. Nevertheless, it's there. So if you get that mindset, what happens now is you convince your subconscious mind that this is what I want. This is my desire. Now we will start to work to get it to you. Now here's a quick, this is something very important that you gotta know how your mind works and here it is. The mind always follows your level of effort or energy. What do I mean by that? If you're doing something half manifested, that's what you're gonna get. If you're going wholehearted, that's what you're gonna get. In other words, if you're going 50% and expect 100% doesn't work. See, you could go 50% here, intellect, and expect 100% from the universe, it's not going to work. It doesn't work that way. Your mind will follow you percentage-wise. If you go 90%, your mind will go 90% to manifest your goal. That's why some things take time for some people, because some people go 90%, 99%, 100%, and they get their desires quickly. That's what you call speed of time. Some people, they go 50, they may go 80, and then they chill back, and they go another 40. That's why it takes them years or months. Because they don't understand that their own mind is watching them and seeing how much effort you want to put into it. Because the cells in your body that create the energy, that create the desire and inspiration, they all follow your intention and your desire to have it. So how bad do you want it? Next thing, not bad to the point that you're going to be desperate or become attached, but to the point that it becomes your intention. That's the secret. So you get your intention, boom, comes into your reality. 
You see how that works? Good. Good. Now, that's how you're going to speed up or create things that takes time to manifest. So let me just go over quickly with you again, right? So number one, the language we use. So if you're trying to do something, you're, it's not going to happen really. You're just going to create more try. So change the mindset. Number two, see it possible for yourself in your heart and in the mind. Got to see image of it. If you can't see yourself doing it, it ain't going to work. Okay? Number two. Number three, let's make a decision now. This is what I want. I'm deciding. My intention is this. Why do you want it? Okay, it'll make me feel happy. Good. You're in alignment now. Next process, keep it going with the momentum. Just focus on it. Keep the intellect mind out of the picture. And the universe will bring it into you. That's it. If you follow those steps, you will completely change your vibration and you bring in a new attractive factor and you'll be able to create what you want. Next, last one, very important one, right? How bad do you want it? Think about it. Things that you manifest or you desire, right? When you really, really want it. When I mean want it or desire, it means that you see it as some sort of focus. It brings some kind of feeling or joy. That creates a lot of momentum and brings it into you. Not to the point where you get attached or you're desperate. I need it. Just to the point that, yes, when I think about this thing, it brings me joy or happiness. That's what I mean by how bad do you want it. That will change your mind now to go the momentum, right? To the percentage. 50, 60, 100. Boom, that's where you want to be. So I hope that can give you some insights. And maybe you can see it in your personal life and say, okay, now I see where I was off. Or... Good, that makes a lot of sense. Now I can tweak it. And that's how you create and manifest things that seem to take years or months and it's not happening. You can quickly change it like that. All right? So there you go, guys. Thank you again. And see you next time.